welcome back to Timberborn. In the last episode, I did a brief tour of some of the updates I made to our district. And then we started working on this second district here, Niagara Falls, very exciting. We are currently waiting for our beaver population to expand before we move people over because we did forget to turn back on some of these breeding pods and we lost a lot of beavers. So we are running a little bit short, um, but we have seven children and more cooking in these little tube things. So hopefully we can send some people over soon. In the meantime, if we come over this way, we are working on building the distribution post. We have our drop off point and we have our district. So once we get this up and running, we can send some goods over. And we do have one unemployed beaver, so we can finally turn this back on. Now, the other thing that we were doing was upgrading our storage situation over here. So I'd like to see how much room we have. Like, it looks like this path is pretty red as it is. So I don't think we can really go up any higher here. But we do have a little bit of room to work with coming through from this side. It might be worth looking at adding another storage, I think, here. That should be pretty good. And we could even start to come out like this way as well. But for now, I think we'll just do a bunch of storage up here. Maybe some industrial log piles as well. I'm thinking we will do two more storage and then we will do an industrial log pile this way, which means we need stairs. Now our wood supply is doing actually very well. We have almost a thousand logs and we are building more large water tanks, which I think should be good enough to support the larger beaver population. And food is doing pretty well. As you can see, we actually have a ton of food that we can't even pick because we don't have the storage for. So all of this is just kind of like chilling until we get more storage. And we even have more berries here too that we could be picking if we had the storage. So main thing that we really need to figure out is how to add more planks. And I think we are going to do that here. So before I forget, I want to come up here and figure out the best way to demolish this whole area. It looks like what we will need to do is demolish this, and then we'll do explosives here so the water flows through here. And then we will look at putting lumber mills all along this path. So we'll do four, I think, here. And we will also need to clear out this area with the trees and stuff. I'm almost thinking since we have 137 gears that maybe we should pause just one of our gear workshops. That way we're not going through planks so quickly since planks are needed to make gears. I think that's probably the way to do things. And we now have enough beavers to unpause all of those water pump thingies, which is good. So I think it's probably time that we high prioritize, I think the distribution post. We don't have anything else going on that's super high priority. So we will high prioritize that one. And for this, we will need some of these and we'll do like a whole row through here, I think. And then next we need to figure out a path up to this area. So I I think the most direct route will be to go closest to the district center so that the path doesn't run out. So I've added in stairs here and then I put a gatherer flag here and I think I'll do a lumberjack flag next to it and hopefully that flag will also reach this. Oh, I guess we can see what it will reach. Well, not really because we don't have the stairs. Hopefully it will reach up here, here 
and cover kind of those areas. And then we do need a metal scrap flag once all this is taken care of up here. And our distribution post is ready to go. So what we will do is I think we'll look at sending over berries because they'll need those for breeding. We can send over a hundred. We don't need books. I don't think they really need bread. They will need explosives, but they will only need about 15. They will need logs. I think probably 50 is fine because they'll get their own wood. They will need planks, but I think they only need, actually they won't need planks because they're gonna make their own planks. So we can do zero. I think everything else we can do zero. And then we will add a new root to here for berries, explosives, logs, and water. And I think that was it. We have berries, oh, we did do some carrots, explosives, logs, and water. So we do need to add carrots. And there we go. So they should start to bring stuff over. I think we'll just have two beavers working on that. Hopefully when one of our seven children grows up, they'll go work there. Aha, well they haven't built the stairs yet. And this industrial log pile is already full, wow. So I think maybe the issue here is that we do not have enough space to put the logs. So let's come up here and actually do a couple more log piles. I think we will do one here and then one this way with stairs coming down like so. And I'm hoping all this reaches, let's see. Looks like it does. So we can keep adding a few more of those in Maybe we can go up even higher if we go this way and this way. So we've added in some stairs up to a third level here. I think we can do maybe like a double, I guess a single platform here. Go over like that. Maybe we can actually go up even higher. Although I don't wanna go up too high because I think the path might not reach since we're a little bit far away. So I think we'll leave it like that. Maybe we can fit another, I think maybe we can fit one more warehouse here. It looks like we can, that path should reach. So we will platform this. And we'll do a couple more warehouses up here. And then we'll come around back and platform down. Okay, so this area I think is pretty well built out, but it is crazy. Every single warehouse we put up gets full like immediately. So we must just have a ton of food and berries like sitting around doing nothing. The logs, on the other hand, are taking a little bit longer to fill up, mostly because these flags are getting really full and we don't really have a ton of people, beavers, like hauling stuff. So I think that's just taking a little bit of time. But hopefully that will sort itself out as we have more beaver births. And let's see how our drop-off point is coming along. So we have berries, Somehow we have a surplus of carrots. Oh, because I didn't fix this. That would be a problem. But we're pretty good on logs, water, food. So before we move some beavers over, let's wait until some of these ones grow up because we currently have no unemployed beavers and I don't want to pause any jobs. But I think what we can do on this side is put in a couple of breeding pods. Like so. And then we can also start to think about 
how we want to do our barracks. I think we'll unlock the large row house. It doesn't have as many inhabitants, but this takes up that much space. And this only takes up like that tiny little skinny bit. So I think it might be worthwhile to just stack a bunch of these. And let's check on our little baby beavers. This is like the slowest little baby beaver growing process. We have really only one that's close to being done. The little babies have to be here somewhere. Oh, there they are. They're like getting food, hanging out. Let's find an Codonis. Oh, chilling at the campfire. What a cutie. And Pujati over here checking out the water wheels. Wants to grow up to be a water pumper someday. I do want to see this get built, but I think we just need too many planks for all of this. So we're going to have to leave that for now. This guy has been sitting around doing nothing. So we are going to make... Oh, where did he go? We've lost him. So I've put in a couple of farmhouses. I think we will do like a little potato field thing here. And then we will also put in, I guess a lumberjack flag here. And I'm wondering if we can get a tapper shack. We can. This will actually reach over here, which is kind of cool. So we can do that. And that will be able to get to some of these if there's any like leftover resin. And they're actually helping us build this already. So it looks like this is within their path to build. So that is kind of cool. I think they're just using our extra logs since we don't have any planks really. As far as gears, we do have 166. So I am going to pause this one as well to try to preserve more of our planks and hopefully increase our building time because everything is coming along pretty slowly. But we do have these. These just got finished building. So let's take a look here. In this grist mill, we're making cattail flour. And then in this one, we have it set up for wheat flour. And this one's also cattail flour. Based on what we have, we have 535 cattail, but we have almost 1,400 wheat. So I think we should actually put this one on wheat. And we'll have two wheat grist mills going for the time being. But we don't have any beavers. So what we'll do is pause a couple of these. And now we have Angie and Damari in our grist mill making wheat flour. Yes, wheat flour in both. Now what I've realized is we actually also have another bakery here another grill here and another grist mill so we're gonna have three grist mills just focused on the wheat which might be too much so we'll have to keep an eye on that and we have two grills currently working on spatter dock we have 428 potatoes 200 chestnuts and 239 spatter dock so I think we can actually change this one to potatoes since we have more potatoes than spatter dock at the moment. And our first farmhouse is actually built. So I think we're pretty close to being able to move some beavers over from Victoria Falls to Niagara Falls. So I'm thinking we could potentially pause two of these and just send over two beavers for now. And maybe actually we could send over like one child. So let's go over here and see who comes over to Niagara Falls. We have, let me slow it down, I can't catch them. We have Senzal, Megonel, and Treze, Treze. Oh gosh, oh no, Treze is not here. Where are these beavers going? Oh, this one works here. Sends all works here. But where's the baby beaver? I don't think he's quite made it over yet. I don't see him anyways. 
So they're working on that. Looks like they're putting most of their effort into this lumber mill heal here. So we will high prioritize that lumber mill. I think we will also high prioritize these stairs. And then I want to put a lumberjack flag in here and mark all of these trees to be cut down. And before I forget, we might as well mark all of these trees over here. And back on this side, we do have one unemployed beaver now. Looks like our builder's hut is full, so maybe we can make them a hauler. I would like to try to increase our aquatic farming. So I'm wondering if maybe we can get over to this way. And perhaps we can put explosives along here. And we have a drought in three days. Oh my goodness, so stressful. Our first drought, but hey, look at this. These little beavers are planting potatoes already. They're already working in the farm. We can go ahead and pause this farmhouse. I don't think we need that one quite yet. We can also low prioritize this. I don't think that's super urgent. And we can probably low prioritize one of these. Maybe both. And they've already built both of these lumber mills. That is pretty incredible. But they currently don't have any power, so I am going to pause those. And I think we will come up this way and flood this for just a moment. Just to get some water flowing down here before the dry season hits. Because it looks like all of this pretty much dried out. We are going to flood our poor little beavers for a second though. That's well, not too bad. So over here, we have definitely flooded our farmhouse and it is not drying up anytime soon. So note to self, just like don't do that. I don't know why we did that, to be honest. Terrible idea, really. I think what we should do next on this side, we should look at adding in some storage. So I'm gonna shut off the water so I can actually see what we're doing. And we might as well go for the large storage and just put that in here. And back over on this side, I'm noticing that we're kind of stuck at our beaver count. We're not really expanding very much. So it might be good to just throw in, I think two more breeding pods should help. We have less than one day until the drought. I think we need to turn back on two of these now that we have two unemployed beavers and make sure all of our water tanks are full to capacity. It looks like we have a little bit of room in some of them. So we'll turn that back on. And I'm thinking over here, Oh my goodness, they built these already. Pause one of those for sure. Oh gosh, can't go through all of our water just yet. But I'm thinking over here, I kind of want to figure out a path over to this. So maybe what we should do is just go straight across like that. And then we'll do stairs up to here. I'm not quite sure how the efficient mine works, but we can't unlock that yet anyways. So once we can, we'll have that ready to go. And we might as well look at putting a path in here just to do some of the scavenging there and once that's built we will go ahead and pause it I've also just realized that in order to get power to power these we need water as well as planks because we have to build the stairs to get down to those we are going to have to add in a plank limit. I think just like 10 planks should be fine. And we are officially in an eight day drought. Oh my 
gosh, that is the longest drought we've had. So we are going to pause all of these. And that is a very, very long time. I think we are also going to pause our newly built little pods. And then we can come over here and unpause our forester. And we still have three unemployed beavers, so we might as well put them in here. Most of our building right now is coming along so slowly because we just don't have planks. So, oh, but we do have these water tanks up and running. That is very exciting. But I'm thinking we need to figure out a place, maybe over here, if we move some of these like stairs around, maybe we can fit another lumber mill somehow in here. So I put a lumber mill in here, but I've had another idea that maybe we can do some sort of like dry season jobs right here, but we'll probably need to explosive-ish this whole bit here. So let's check on our other beavers over this way while they do that. We have three beavers, almost two baby beavers on the way. And they just got enough planks to build these stairs. So they're coming down here to build these, which is great. However, we are going to need a temporary power wheel in here because we don't have any water running through there until we use explosives on this part up here, which I think will take us a little while to get there because we do need planks for that. So we do have two unemployed beavers, so we could potentially look at adding in more science, but I think once we blow up this whole area, and we put in our power wheels. I think we'll have plenty of jobs. I think we're gonna have to move these stairs. So I'm going to delete those for now because we will need to get a high power shaft down this way. And I'm not sure if they can actually reach that. We might need to pause them building this one and We might need to do some sort of, oh, I should check on water. We are in a drought, people. We have five and a half days and I forgot. Hopefully we have not killed everybody yet. They have 91 water over here. They are fine. They have almost 4,000 water. They are fine. We are going to lower these floodgates temporarily. Get some more water flowing. We'll lower these ones for a second. I think we can probably turn back on two of these in the time being. We have the beaver power, so we might as well. As far as this little shafty thing here, I think we will have to double platform over to it in order to reach it. And I'm hoping they can reach it from this one, but we might have to do another one as well. But the good news is, it looks like we should be able to get over this way. And then we can set up a power shaft here. And do we want to do power shafts this way? I think we'll do them this way. But we want to pause building these for the time being. We actually want to pause building that. Oh. Oh. It's already built. Okay. We're deleting that. We are putting it back in. And this time we're going to pause it. And then we come over here. And we'll have to do a T-shaped actually. Like that. Then that, then that. Another T shape here. Another thing there. And we'll probably end up doing a lot more dynamiting. Is dynamiting a word? I don't really know. And I'm super, um, I don't know what the word is. Not very smart. <laughs> 
<laughs> because I deleted this, realizing that they can't reach this if they can't get up to this. So we have to put stairs back in and hope that they can reach this power shaft. And I guess they can just build this one because it doesn't really matter, I don't think. And now that these ones are built, we can actually unpause these. And then we'll put a path in across here. We are running a little bit low. As you can see, we can see way too much of these plants. So we're going to let some water flow. And let's check on our beavers over here. They have plenty of water. They are doing okay, it looks like. Oh, and we do have some dynamite here. So we might as well detonate that. And we can get some more housing going up here. So we'll throw in a couple more of those and then we'll add in one more once they detonate that last little bit. I think they'll look kind of nice because then we can kind of build rows of these up into like the hill area, which would be kind of cool. And we have our first power wheel up and we have Nam Namro. Yes, Namro. Not connected to anything. So he's literally running for no reason. Well, let's dynamite these. I've also realized that we can't delete these stairs until they take care of these up here. So we're going to have to high prioritize these. And as soon as they finish building this one, we'll unpause this one, and then this one, and then this one. And then I was going to put in like another bit here I think just like two more like there and there and that is almost done beautiful so we'll unpause this one because if we do this I'm thinking we should be able to fill up the water like all the way to the top in this section without it overflowing we only have a wee bit of time 2.7 days left so let's go ahead and lower these a little bit get some water flowing so over here, the lumber mill is making us some additional planks. However, we still can't keep up with the plank demand. So if we can find a place to put in another lumber mill, like maybe like maybe if we dynamite this bit, we can put another one in somehow. I'm not really sure. We'll have to think about that. Or we can just rely on this other side to be our plank production. Oh, I love that. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, that sound. Volja is exhausted because she's thirsty. Why are they all thirsty? I don't understand. They have plenty of water. I think they put in this last bit they did so we can go ahead and come in here and do our final row house there that should give us enough lodging for 40 beavers which is good and then up here they finish this one so let's unpause this one and then we'll come down here detonate that and add in I'll have to pause this And we'll pause this. And then we'll do two of these. Oops, not those. Yes, those, that's right. You know what I'm thinking? We actually should come in here and like spin this and go this way. Wow, they built that so fast. I was not ready for that, but let's see if we can make that work. We can come in, I think I was trying to do this, where we have like three like that, and then we have one at the end like that. Now I don't know if they're connected, if they just like share power. I don't think that will work. I'm pretty sure it will not work. I'm not gonna take a chance. So we're gonna delete that one. 
We'll do another straight one this way. Turn it that way. And the drought has ended! I was not even paying attention at all. Kind of a shame, really. But it's over. And we have water! And now we can unpause this one. And we're very close to being able to actually fill up our water a little bit higher without it overflowing. And on this side, we now have a total of five beavers with two baby beavers. So once those two baby beavers grow up, oh my gosh, the potatoes are ready. What are we doing? We'll pause this one. And you, Pujati, can go be a farmer. I totally forgot that we were growing potatoes. We do have one extra beaver, so we are going to migrate one over this way. They can go in here. Beautiful! So we're now making planks on this side, which is lovely. Which means we can stop sending planks over this way. And we have another unemployed beaver, so I think we can turn back on this gear thing now that we're making planks on the other side as well. And you know what? We actually have enough science points to unlock the efficient mine. So I think we are going to unlock that for 4,000 science. And it looks like we just place that on top of this. I think. It needs 300 logs, 300 special planks, and 450 gears. That is a lot of planks and a lot of gears. But we might as well start working on it because that looks really cool. So I am very excited that we just unlocked this. I can't wait to see what it does. It looks like it actually has recipes for scrap metal and efficient scrap metal. I don't know what that means, what the difference is. I guess we'll find out. But I think this is pretty great progress for this episode. We are in our new district, Niagara Falls. We have seven beavers already, and we are working our way to check out this efficient mining system. And we are making progress. We Next episode, I think, we'll unlock or demolish rather this area and get the river flowing down here and hopefully by next episode this bit here and this bit here will start to get built out more now that we actually have enough planks but thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know what you think and i will see you in the next one